All right, I am here with Carl Kirschel, the creator of the abominable Charles Christopher. And this has been nominated for an Eisner, hasn't it? It, it was nominated and won the Eisner last year. That's right, I thought so. Finally, third time it's time. Third, not so bad. All right, I have five fabulous questions for you. Are you ready? I'm ready, yeah. All right. Are they speed questions? Do I have to no, you can take as much time as you want. All right. All right, question number one is how did you get started working in comics? Uh, I just grew up reading comics. I was, um, when I was 16 years old in high school, I, I decided I wanted to draw comics for a living, and I started practicing and practicing and doing submission pages and sending them to uh, editors in New York and going to shows, and when I was 18, I got my first break, which is awfully young, and so I... That is young. Uh, yeah, I was, uh, so I was kind of learning on the job at that point. Yeah, I just, uh, I just like the medium. Like, uh, it's, it's, it's a really accessible route into telling stories. Yeah. All right. Question number two is: Did you read comics when you were a kid? And you kind of answered that already. Yeah. But who are some of your influences? Well, as a child, they, they changed drastically. As a child, uh, my influences were like newspaper comic strips, like a lot of Garfield. Uh, and then uh, after that, a lot of Calvin and Hobbes. And then after that, I started getting into more superhero comics. Um, I was really influenced by um, Frank Miller. And Mike Mignola, and then later on, um, Japanese stuff, uh, Hayao Miyazaki, and uh, I think it's kind of evident. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's, it's sort of evolved from that. Very good. Thanks. All right, number three is, what are you currently working on? I'm currently doing the Bumble Charles Christopher every week and publishing books, um, uh, collecting books of the, the webcomic, and I'm also uh, I've been doing um, freelance work for... Uh, doing an Assassin's Creed comic. Oh, fabulous. Yeah, with my, uh, my friend Cameron Stewart. So, um, that's what I've been doing. And now I'm actually working with another friend creating uh, more work with them, which haven't been announced yet. Haven't been announced yet. All right, well, we'll watch for those. And I'll be sure to link to, um, to the webcomic so that people can get to it easily. Yeah. All right, number four is, what graphic novel or comics titles that you've read in the past year would you recommend as being great for teens or for kids? Uh, Bone, as always, but that one's been around for yeah. years. years. Um, Skim. Yes. That's what I'd recommend. Yeah. I love Skim. I love Jillian Tamaki. By the Tamakis, yeah. yeah. And, and Mariko Tamaki. Uh, that's what I'd recommend. I think it's it's uh, it's mature, but still, still completely it's appropriate for, for young kids. Absolutely. Uh, it's it's uh, poignant. It's beautiful. It's, it's yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. Yeah. I love that book. Thank you. And number five is, if you were stuck on a desert island and you could only bring one book with you, and it doesn't have to be a comic, what book would that be? And you can assume that you're going to be rescued. It doesn't have to be the only book you ever read again. Yeah. Oh, boy, that's tough. Um, I can't answer that. <laughs> Do you have one where if you're if you were moving to a new apartment, this is the book that you could get thrown in the box first? I, I probably do. I'm trying to think of uh, maybe the Three Billy Goats Gruff, the right. old Ladybird edition. Which oh I, which wow! I, which I grew up with. Yeah. Very specific. I have a couple of those too, where it's like, no, it has to yeah, be that edition. That yeah. Yeah. It's, it's the artwork. It's, a, it's a, it, if you read further editions of, of not editions, but but other adaptations of that story, it's, 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 they're completely different. So. Yeah. It's not the one that that hit home with you. Yeah. Well, possibly one of the most influential books on on my life. Fabulous. Yeah. That's perfect. Thank you so much for talking with me. Thanks.